Hey, I'm Ben Nealon, and I'm the lead AI programmer here at Eutechnics on NASCAR The Game Inside Line. So with NASCAR The Game Inside Line, um, the one major focus we had was to get the, get the AI running harder and faster. Um, I mean, the the biggest thing people wanted out of NCG 11 was, um, you know, they, they thought that the AI was lacking in speed. So, so we found that in this game. And each track's different. We've remodeled all the tracks from telemetry data. Um, so they're all total new tracks. Now they've been modeled better. The cars can run faster, more naturally. The AI take better lines around the tracks and just general raw speed. And they're a lot more progressive in this game and, and we feel it makes for some nice interesting pack racing. So getting the, getting the AI to react to the player um, and to the other AI cars without causing massive accidents is, is a difficult one. Um, Inco, we, we, we know what all the AI cars um, are making decision-wise, um, but we obviously can't second-guess what the player is doing. The only thing we can look at is the player's road position, the player's um, trajectory, where they're looking to drive to, um, and try and best guess uh, if it was an AI vehicle, what would we be getting that AI vehicle to do? So we can kind of second guess whether it's good for the player to probably bump drafting um, and then the AI will prepare to maybe work with the player. If, if the player is coming to overtake other AI cars and they can slightly move out of the way so they don't cause an accident, I mean they're going to get out of the way. Coming out of turn two at Dover for example, the AI car is going to get put into the wall well he's going to hold his ground and the player is going to have to grind up alongside him. I mean the, the AI aren't gonna try and make make massive actions they want to avoid that kind of stuff all of our cars uh, run under full run under full physics and they use a spline as a guide so I tell them where to drive um, and you know if if they've got a tire blown or their tires are worn and um, they slow down to compensate that um, and there are cases where they, they end up drifting off slightly where I'm telling them to go and um, then you know you've got to kind of deal with that kind of stuff we're dealing with a physics simulation you end up with kind of a reactive system in the end but it works well we've tried to model the drivers in game as, as realistic as we can um, and we've gone way further than we ever did in 2011 so we're using the a combination of the telemetry data and lap time season statistics um, and down to track specific statistic to work out you know maybe how good Montoya is as an example is how, how good he runs the likes of Watkins Glen and Sonoma um, versus how he runs on Daytona you're gonna see them differences in there and especially when you run through the career mode you're gonna find that you're gonna struggle to, to, to fight your way through the pack against these guys um, and you'll see these drivers and um, clawing their way up and getting better and through the career as you do as well. We use Pi Toolbox, the same software as leading race teams, to compare real life player performance with that of our AI. We're able to record telemetry data from the game, then use the tools functions to compare these data sets. This then allows us to understand and fix any shortfalls that there are in vehicle performance. 